This is Dr. Kasorik with another episode of Cadet Chats, and we are so excited today to have 12th grader Brielle DiGiacco on the show. She's going to talk to us a little bit about what started out as a hobby, but has had a great impact on the Hilton Learning community. So welcome to the show today, Brielle. Hi. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. So uh, Brielle started Hilton Picks. Uh, tell us a little bit about what Hilton Picks is. So Hilton Picks, I have a camera, I go to all the games, I take pictures, and then I post them on an Instagram account called Hilton Picks to oh. share with everyone. All right. Well, how did you? How did that come about? So it's really funny because at first I wanted to do something for the seat because I'm a senior this year, so I want to do something for my grade, and it was going to start out as Hilton Vids. So I walked around with this camera trying to take videos and I realized it's not as easy as I thought to take videos. So I was like, I have this camera and I just started taking pictures and posting them for everyone. Now I've seen you, now I saw one time you're having trouble getting onto the football field during the game. I did, I did. So I, I could vouch for you yes. that you were a part of the media. Oh yeah. Um, and you got on and, and that was fun. <laughs> Thank but you so much. No, 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 absolutely. <laughs> but tell us a little bit about what type of events you attend, and uh, you know how do you keep that schedule? Is there um, is there thought around um, being equitable with the different types of events yeah. you attend? Yeah. So I go to mainly it was in fall soccer, girls and boys, and then football was my main sports that I did. And now during the winter season, I'm going to try to do basketball and wrestling stuff like that. But I have a very busy schedule outside mm -hmm. of school and everything, so it, it took a lot of planning of what games I could attend. And I would ask the athletes, too. I'd be like, oh, what games do you want me to be there? If there was, like, another photographer there so we could split up the time and everything. That's great. Yeah. Do you have, now that you've uh, established yourself, you've got a, a social media presence, yes, which is really cool. I do. It's even sometimes I just want to watch the games. I go there. They're like, "Where's your camera? Where's your camera?" I'm like, "I'm off for today." All right. Do you have Do you have students who will come up to you at school and be like, "Hey, could you check out our event?" Yes, a hundred percent. And I try to really do a lot of fan pictures too, because I feel a bunch of photographers just do the athletes, but it's the fans too. The athletes want to be there without the fans supporting them. So I do a lot of crowd pictures and shots, so everyone's. Can you come to this game, take pictures of me and my friends? I'm like, of course. Yeah. Wow, what a great perspective. Yeah. Now tell me a little bit about do you have formal training as a photographer? I do not. I did take Mr. Randall's 10th grade um, photography class, but I didn't really think anything of it. I was just taking it as an elective. But now, now I, it takes time to learn what settings to do outside versus inside. And I felt just as I was getting good at the outside photos, it's winter season now, so I gotta change my technique for the inside photos. Wow. So I see a lot of students and they'll use uh, like cell phone. Everybody's got a cell yeah. phone. Everybody's snapping shots with it. Tell me a little different, uh, the difference between using a piece of equipment like this and just snapping a photo with our friends with the cell phone. Yeah, it takes a lot of time to zoom in to get the right picture and there's a lot of editing that goes into it too. I don't think people realize that I'm sometimes up for like three hours hours just editing the photos making sure the lighting is good and I have to like save the pictures to my Google Drive and email to them to myself it's a big process all right so uh, as far as the editing process if you attend a girls soccer game and you take photos uh, is it three hour process to edit the photos for yes them? and I get it, I only post maybe 10 at a time for each game on Hilton Picks, but the girls that I take photos of, I send them their pictures separately if I, they don't end up on the Instagram account. So there's maybe like 400 pictures for each game that I have to go through and do all of that for. So would you edit a batch of 10? Yes, a batch okay. of 10 at a time. And then I'll edit like more and then just send them to them personally opposed to sending them out on the internet. All right. What platforms do you use uh, to post? I use Instagram to post and then I send um, people the photos through Snapchat. I'll be oh, like, cool. here's your picture. I got some pictures of you from the games. And it got to the point where people from other schools recognize me and they're like, can you please take pictures of me? Like, I'm like, oh, you don't get a Hilton, but I'll try to take a picture for you. Well, you, you were talking a little bit about managing your time. So you're a busy person. You're yeah. a senior at the high school. Yeah. And uh, I, you have some uh, responsibilities outside of school. Mm -hmm. What are those? So I work at McDonald's, and then I work at an esthetician place as this her assistant, and then I also coach cheer. Wow. Yeah, so I'm everywhere. Very busy. <laughs> yeah. But, um, you've been able to, to take pictures and, 
and share them with people and, and really make time for that. So that's pretty impressive. Thank you. Yeah. So so what got you going with the idea outside of taking pictures and wanting to share them? Was there anything else that inspired you to go this route outside of the class as well? It was more to, I wanted to make people happy. I wanted to give a sense of community to people. And I feel when I post these pictures, it's not just the athletes that are looking at them. It's the whole community, parents, teachers. And I love that I felt I brought them closer together. Mm -hmm. Great. Is there a specific moment during your photography work that stands out most in your memory and why? It was probably when the boys made the state finals. It, I got a bunch of pictures of them hugging each other. And it was such, it, I felt so special to be able to capture that moment on camera. And they all loved it too. And I was getting so much gratitude for it. And I cannot thank them enough for the amount of gratitude I've gotten for them. Great. Yeah, yeah. that's nice. Gratitude makes such a difference. It right? It 100% you does. Know, we talk about when we do something nice for someone else, how it can often make us feel better right. too in our social media. It makes health. you feel like you're doing, like all this time is, is finally for something. And you're finally like, oh my gosh, I'm so glad. Awesome. What advice would you give another student that might be interested in building a hobby? Uh, into something of their own like you have? I would say you 100% just have to do it. You don't have to listen to what everyone else says. You just do it for yourself. And you want your intentions to be genuine too. Don't do it because you want to blow up on Instagram or blow up on TikTok. Do it because you really want to be doing that. That's great. Yeah. Did you have any type of conversation with your a family before you started this or did you just go for it? I, I did because this is my mom's camera. Okay. So I had to tell her, she made me sign a contract that I wasn't going to ruin the camera, break the glass. So I did and they were so, my dad works with the sports boosters a lot too. So he was so excited that I'd be a part of that. And my mom's a teacher, so she was so excited for me too. Great. What type of feedback have you been getting on your pictures outside of students? Has anyone else in the community reached out to you to talk about them? Um, some, a lot of people, I get stopped at McDonald's a lot in the drive-thru. You're the girl that takes the pictures. <laughs> and I'm like, yes, thank you. And I've also met a bunch of different photographers from other schools along the way too that they've been telling me about them and stuff, giving me advice, things great, like that. Great, great. Is it something once you graduate from Hilton that you think you might continue to do? What What is your level of passion around photography? I feel like it would be a great thing to do on the side, definitely 100% 100% in college maybe with the sports team that I'm representing. I, I really do. And I hope that when I come and visit here, I could still take pictures for the sports teams and stuff like that. Great. Do you have a message for the folks watching today? Anything special that you want to share with them? Um, maybe just if you want to start something, 100% do it. And you should always thank everyone for helping you grow as a influencer 100 percent because my thing was is that they're thanking me i have to thank them because they're the ones that made my account how it is great uh so what's next for you so you're a senior i know you're working at mcdonald's you're you're uh, moving on with hilton picks you're coaching cheerleading all this great stuff yeah. uh, what's in your next chapter i'm definitely going to college i just got accepted into ohio state i'm not sure if i'm gonna be there yet but I'm going to major in communications and minor in psychology. So I'm really excited for that. Fantastic. So um, I, I know that the path to a career often takes many winding turns. Yeah. So you've left your options open. Um, like this moment in time, what is your ideal job? My ideal job, I really want to get into some sort of public speaking maybe, just to talk to people about certain topics like mental health, like the importance of that. And I really, I just want to make a difference. I just really want whatever I do to have an impact on everyone around me. That's very inspiring. Thank you. Yeah, so now you're inspiring me. Who's <laughs> inspired you? Um, probably my parents, 100%, and my teachers. I've had such a great supporting a support group growing up. That's how I am the way I am today. Great. Well, we're kind of winding down here. Uh, is there anything that I didn't ask you that you'd like to share with the viewers or any questions you might have for me? No, it's just um, check out Hilton Picks on Instagram awesome. if you want more. Very good. Well, that is going to wrap up another edition of Cadet Chat. Uh, thank you so much to Brielle DiGiaco, 12th grader and the founder of Hilton Picks. We greatly appreciate learning more about her and her journey with Hilton Picks. Thank you very much, and until next time, have a great day. Thank you.